I uh, kind of want to explain how Microsoft could launch the Surface Duo with all the bugs they have. Uh, first thing is I don't work for Microsoft, but I do work for a tech company. Let me explain. Tech company you know, normally has a Q&R requirement, quality and reliability department, and a product development department. There are two independent departments. This ensures that quality and reliability Q&R is independent and is not under the influence of product development so they so that they can launch to launch products at a high quality level. The quality is three level quality, channel, OEM, and enterprise. Channel is like selling to Best Buy, Amazon, Costco, Newegg. OEM is essentially AT&T, T-Mobile, Lenovo, Dell, HP, or Verizon. Surface Duo is not enterprise level uh, product, so I'm not going to talk about it. Channel is the easiest to qualify because you, when you sell to Best Buy, Amazon, and Costco, and Newegg, they don't have any testing. They just get the product from you and they sell it. OEM has an OEM call. They have a little higher requirement for quality, and they do also weight testing. So essentially, at t will get the phone a couple months earlier. They probably run some testing because they have like 20 apps on the surface and they want to make sure it works. The quality of the product is actually measured, normally measured in an AFR annual failure rate. Failure rate is determined by a number of unit tested, time to failure, and if it, the failure is repeatable or not. If failure is repeatable, that means you, can, you would need to fix the bugs. So in this case, AFR, really mean that customer return the use if they upon seeing the failure. So if you have a failure, they will likely return it, that's considered AFR. Stuff like a brick phone. If that failure return has a brick, brick the phone, of course, they return it, that's considered has to fix that. Phone freezes and so you need power cycle, and this happens repeatedly, the customer return it, that's considered AFR, you need to fix it. You could have a certain number of failure in a call based on the AFR requirement. Uh, normally, the requirements for AFR is 0.55%, 0.73%. That's the failure rate. Uh, the other, thing, other way to look at it, there's this thing called MTBF, which is mean time between failure, which is essentially the same thing as AFR, reverse calculated. So it's the same concept, but just two different ways to calculate it. If you cannot meet the AFR, then you have exceptional waiver. In this case, the cure in our department will say, hey, I can waive this if you do these things. And normally, during our the vice president, CEO would know this because when you launch a product with that does not meet failure rate, it's a big deal. And the only way to waive it is everybody in the chain of command will need to, need to basically bless, get their blessing, right? One way to get their blessing is either is something that OEO oh, fixed on the first update. In this case, I expect a Surface Duel launch with known bugs, which means is an OEM launch. It's actually AT&T knew these bugs, Surface knew these bugs, QNR knew these bugs. Probably the CEO of Microsoft knew there was bugs and they waived it and they launched it. The assumptions was that it will be fixed on the first firmware update, which is why you saw this huge firmware update, uh, software update on the first day. Because the assumption is that, hey, I will waive this and you're going to fix it. Unfortunately, you know, there's still bugs, right? Uh, now let's look at Surface Duo 2 launch, right? First thing you will notice there's no OEM, there's no AT&T, which is a really bad sign. There's no T-Mobile. Basically, this is channel, right? And this channel imply the quality is based on what Microsoft wants. So OEM, in this case, probably got the phone, they tested it, and it didn't meet the requirement. And they're like, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not gonna wave. Yeah, I did it once, didn't sell well, had a lot of bugs, a lot of return, I'm gonna not do it again. I'm gonna wait for you to up fix these bugs before I can launch it. So at t that's why at t did not launch this product. This is what I think. Uh, Best Buy is a channel customer. They're not gonna do any testing service tool. They can just get the phone and sell it, right? So that's the first sign is that there's no T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon. Microsoft is selling this as a channel product, selling through their Microsoft website, and they're selling it through Best Buy. The second sign is that you probably saw this video of Surface Duo 2 in some French YouTube uh, website that shows bugs, which basically means there's no bugs in the current image. The current image um, is in the factory. And if you think about the factory, the factory is in China. To ship the factory to a warehouse in Best Buy and Microsoft probably a week, then it'll take probably another week from that warehouse in Best Buy to Microsoft. So that's two weeks already. And normally the image in the factory, you take at least two weeks to test. That means that current image that you get the phone on 20, October 22nd is at least a month though, which means Microsoft right now is probably testing that image, the new image again, October 22nd, 
by at least two or three weeks of testing array to fix all the known bugs they have. Um, the factory itself could take up to 12 weeks to make the product. So, and China factories probably have parts to build thousands of phones and Microsoft probably already signed contract with this, <laughs> the factory in China to basically build thousands of phones and the factory is already paid. So, it, so Microsoft is already in hook. They probably pay already millions of dollars on to make you know, a certain amount of thousands of phones. The third thing that's bad that you can see is that Surface Duo, Duo, the original one, Android 11 got delayed. They're essentially focused on uh, Surface Duo 2 software fixes. That's a bad sign because Surface Duo is considered a sustaining product. And that's a second priority. And Surface Duo 2 is a product development. That's the first priority. So, so basically there's a lot of issue with Surface Duo 2 software. There's a lot of bugs. They didn't meet the requirement. They're basically scrambling to get a new image on October 22nd so they can fix all the bugs. So that means your Surface Duo, first Surface Duo Android 11 is going to be delayed. That's second priority. They probably can delay this until the end of the year, literally, or even next year if they can. If they can get, if they have problem get, getting the October 22nd uh, image. In summary, I really hope Surface Duo 2 software is better than the Surface Duo 1, but the current sign that I'm seeing, it doesn't look like it. So that's what I'm thinking. What do you think? Uh, thank you.